What up world? What up media? I am Dre Wise. And this is Dre Wise Topics. Thank you for clicking this particular topic this morning. And thank you for viewing my previous videos here on YouTube called Dre Wise Topics. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. The very bottom in my heart. The very bottom. All honesty, all sincerity, all real and genuine. And just like I will tell you that the world will definitely know my name, and the world leaders will definitely know my name. You know? And you will know and they will know. The whole entire world. And that people that walks this earth, that dwells on this earth, that still lives and breathes, and still uh, use this type of, uh, the saying is, on borrowed time, will know what type of God I believe in. Now, this morning, I'm up, I'm about to get ready, and hit the world. You may see me in the bare chest, but it's a proven fact that I am strengthened, to face today and face the days ahead of me. And I want to tell you some encouraging words. Some encouraging words. You know, that's the topic. Encouragement words. So I can tell you. Because I know people in this world, regardless, regardless if you're black or white. You know, some people are going through something right now. Are going through something right now. Either it's a job, a relationship, dealing with children, paying these bills, and stuff. Some people in this life are going through something. Either it's their health, their health. And like I said this morning, this topic that I am getting ready, that I'm in this bathroom, you know. I'm going to tell you this way. Straight up and real. Straight up and real. Coming from me. A young black man. You know. Coming from me. You know. Now. If you're a person. That just got out a relationship. You know. And I can say this. because I can talk about it. Because I understand. You know. I understand full well. You know, if you're a person that just got out of a relationship, you know, and one of you messed up, you know what I'm saying, one of you did something wrong, you know, but at the same time, you could be a woman. It's hurt by what that man done to you, you know what I'm saying? You could be a man and be hurt by what that woman done to you, but at the same time, you know, when you get a revelation about something. Even though you still try to hold on and try to make it work. But at the same time, when you get that revelation hit, you know, you got to pick yourself up and move on. Even though you may still have feelings for that person, you know, love and care for that person. But if that person said, I am done with you, you know, Things in that nature. You got to pick yourself up and move on. You know what I'm saying? Because on a man's part, ain't no sense for you to go track down this woman, harass this woman, you know, harass her new significant other. If that's in her picture or not. You know? You got to move on. You know? When you said you're sorry, and she's not willing to take you back, you know, and you hurt, and you're in pain, and you're grieving, but at the same time, man, you got to say to yourself, I must move on. I must pick myself up. The same way with a woman. Woman, if you've done something wrong to that man, and he said, I am done with you. You know, I'm done. You hurting me in that way. And you still try and try and try. 
You send him messages and things of that nature. Say, can we please talk? Can we please work it out? I don't want to lose you. You as a woman need to pick yourself up, wipe your uh, face with your sleeve, cry about it, mope about it, but at the same time, you got to get up because life is too short for this BS, you know? It's too short. It's too short. It's already bad enough that we are all under borrowed time. Do you know? Now, I tell you something. People come and go. People come and go. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you're going through in this life, if you're a type of person that believes in God, believes in Him, that he tell us, I can bring you out of your current situation. Give it to me. And I will give you rest from that burden. You know? If you're a type of person that's dealing with some type of job. You know? And the boss lay you off. I know it's hard. You know, I know it's hard. You're stressed out. You're upset. You hurt how you're going to pay these bills. How you're going to pay your car note. And how you're going to do all these things for your children. You know? You got to find the strength to pick yourself up, you know, and rise from that situation, you know. I don't care it's a relationship. I don't care if you uh, lost your job. I, I don't care where it is. Life is too short. And do you know, once you get stressed out, real stressed out, do you know in a man and woman that get stressed out, you develop something called a chemical that releases in your body of stress. That will cause in a phase of you that it releases in your mind, in your body, cause you to get sick, cause your mind to get out of whack. Then, keep on stressing, you might take your own life, you know? Stress will kill you. Now, I will quote a famous singer. She's considered a legend. Her name is Toni Braxton. Now, Toni Braxton's mother said, she said this that kind of woke me up from my revelation that I discovered. You know? She woke me up when I heard this. What she said, I don't watch this show, but I heard, I heard it when someone was flipping through the channels, you know, in this household. Her mother said, life is too short. Go out and find happiness. I know it's hard. I know it's hard, you know. Go out and find happiness. You know? Go out. You know? What's the sense for you moping? What's the sense for you stressed out? You know? What's the sense you still trying to be with this man and you still trying to be with this woman after you got the fact that it's already done and over with? You know? What's the sense for you to go to the bar and drink your life away when your a-hole of a boss lay you off of a particular reason that you should not been uh, laid off, you know? What's the sense to uh, stress out that your children are totally out of line? You get stressed out, that's one thing, because you're trying and trying and disciplining these bad little hoodlums, you know, that the devil got a grip on their minds and stuff. But at the same time, you got to go to God and say, you know what, God, come in this household and whoop these children, you know? I can say that for myself. I was a rebellious child. I was a rebellious child. When I kept doing what I'm doing, you teenagers need to realize this, and you teenagers need to understand, you know? When you do not listen to your father or mother that's trying to tell you what 
you need to hear. And you do it anyways. You will surely find out in the end and tell yourself once it come on to you and you realize that mama and daddy tried to tell me for my own sake. You know? And you say, God, I should have listened. I am a prime example. My mother tried to tell me for my own good. I did not want to listen. I said, Ma, you're out of time. I'm, I want to do what I want to do. When that thought, you want to do what you want to do, you'll find out in the end. That's why I say a hard head makes a very, very soft behind. You know? You want to go out and do drugs and drink and have sex at an early age? And you wind up producing a child before your time. You wind up catching a disease that will take you out of here. You know? And your mother or father got to put you in the ground. You know? Or your father or mother tried to tell you, stay away from that crowd of people. Stay away from that, you know, the peers that does that. Does them drugs and always fighting, always robbing, going to these people's houses. You as a young person need to understand and listen. And that's what's wrong with this generation. That is what's wrong. You know? So, you can tell I'm very fired up this morning. I am very fired up this morning. Because I prayed last night. When I, before I closed my eyes. And I got a revealing revelation about my situation. And God woke me up this morning. He said, you know what, Draymond? Get up. I have risen you because I see and I know all things. I know. He told me, I know what you know not. You know? So he told me, get up. You know? You pray, for, pray to me about strength. I gave you strength. And that's why I'm talking to you like this. You know. And tell you. Tell the world. Because I know some people in the world. I know some people in the world. Right now. Are going through something right now. Either, either the loss of a loved one. Got divorced. On a verge of separation. Boyfriend and girlfriend split up and break up. You know. These children are out of line because the devil, Satan, got a grip on their mind, you know, and influencing and having us think and see fair seeming, you know. So I tell you of words of encouragement. Life is too short to be going through what you be going through. Because you know what? What's the, what's the one song they said? Uh, Lazy Bone said. He said, one day you're here, and then you go gone. What did that mean? One day you're here, and then you go gone. You know? Cherish your life. Protect your life. You got one life. Whatever you're going through, I don't care if it's a loss of a loved one. At the same time, that loved one will want you to be happy and remember me, what type of person, an individual I was. You know, this is true. You know, I know it may be hard. I know it's a hardship. I know it's a difficulty. But when difficulty comes, it comes ease. And that's a fact. You know? Men, if that woman says she don't want you no more, you know, she don't want you no more, and she possibly moved on with somebody else, let her do that, you know, let her do that, because in the end, she, that other man is not you, and you ain't him, so pick up your britches, and hold your head up high, chest out and everything. And you got to tell yourself, you know what? I'm able to move on. Because when I find somebody else, she could be a blessing to me and I can be a blessing to her. You men got to realize and understand. There are more women out in the world than us. You know? 
So go on. You, you will find out that the new woman that comes in your life, in your life, will be ten times better than the one you had. And ten times look better than the one you had. Trust me. Women, you know, when that man said he's done with you, he won't be bothered with you. You know, you will surely find out, like I said, there are, there is a man out there that will predict, demonstrate something different from that man you once had. He even will look much better than that man once had. You know, you can be a blessing to him or the new man, and the new man can be a blessing to you. You know, because I told myself when I found out a revelation last night, even though I was hurt, you know, but I was not upset. And I'm stronger than ever to see this, you know. And I told myself, self, time to rise. Just like Jesus, when these women pulled Jesus to the side and discussed to Jesus about their mourning and grieving. And what did Jesus do? Jesus went right in front of the cave. And called forth a man named Lazarus. Which Lazarus was a man that was a beggar. You know? And Jesus performed a miracle. As a manifestation that God is in him. He said Lazarus come forth. And he came forth. So in my situation. God is telling me to come forth. And rise up. And move on. And keep on going. Keep on stepping. You know? Young man. Young warrior, hell with that woman. Hell with her. Hell with this situation. You know, hell with it. Because he let me know. He let me know. He got something better anyways. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Hey. So I tell you, world, whatever you going through, Whatever you are going through, you have to pray about it before you close your eyes. Ask God to heal you and strengthen you of that particular condition of predicament. Ask Him, and He will surely hear you when you have an open mind and open heart. And you ask Him to strengthen you in that area. Of a time of a temporary season of a hurt. And I tell you. He will surely hear you. And bring you out. And you will wake up the next day. Stronger than ever. <laughs> stronger than ever. And when you go out in the world. People will see you. And say that person. Got a glow and an aura. About himself. Or herself. If you got a problem coming out of. Drugs and alcohol, and that's weighing you down, and you still around them people that does that, and you're still trying and trying and trying and struggling and struggling with this addiction. I surely tell you, kick them people to the curb. Because if you're trying to come out of this addiction that is killing you, killing your brain and killing your organs in your body. And you still hang around these people that does this. That is a statement to you. Because they see the change in you that you coming out of this. Yeah. So you want to do what? Bring you down. That's how it is. Bring you down. You have to be arisen. You know? Let your children know and say, uh-uh, time is up. In my household, you ain't going to be doing it. If you continue doing it, you can do what my mother did. Teach you a lesson at the age of 15, 16, 17 years old. You want to act up? You think you're grown? Get out of my house and you will see how the world is. And I bet you, not even two days, you're going to be at my doorstep.
be at my doorstep because I told you. You know? Any mother, single mother, single father, whatever. They got rebellious children. Pray to God, and God will give you the hint how to come at them. You know? And these damn children today need to realize what's happening. You know? If your mother or father says stay away from that crowd of children because I know what they do and they into something that they should not be into. You know? And that's that. For the relationship, when it crumbles, I don't care if y'all been arguing, I don't care who ever put their hands on each other. You know? I don't care if somebody do an MIA. You know, I don't care. It don't matter anymore. If that woman or man says she is done, he is done, you may be hurt about it. You may be hurt about it, you know. And you're trying to change the condition. You're trying to uh, reach out to him and reach out to her and say, let's work this out one more time. Let's give this a again one more bout. And that person said, no. No. So that means, that I want to tell you, because there's some people out in the world that go through that partic predicament, that go through that situation. You have to tell yourself up in here and, and feel it in here. And say, you know what? I am strong enough to move on. I am strong enough to move on. And once your ex see you out in the world, you know, the key thing is, you don't have to get with somebody else to do better. You can do better by just living, taking care of yourself. And that ex will see you and say, oh, he has really changed. Oh, she has really changed. You know? Yeah. You don't have to be with nobody to do better. You can be single. You know? And do better in life. You know? If you're a type of person that's so hurt and hop into a rebound relationship, you a damn fool. You a damn fool. Because you know why? Because you're still hurt about the situation of this previous relationship that you currently got out of. And you'll use this tool of this man or this woman that you don't even know from square one. Or you do know him or you do know her from the past. But at the same time, you don't know that person. You try to work up to get to know. But you are dumbass because you don't know where that person been that you know from the past. You don't know where that person's agenda or thoughts is or what he's into or what she's into. So I tell you men. Referring to myself, I tell you men, don't go hunt down that woman. Don't go stalk her. Don't go harass her. If she got a potential, whoever, let it be. Because like I said, he ain't you and you ain't him. Move on from that. There are more women out in the world, you know, that will treat you better than that BS carry on woman. Even look ten times better than that pretend, that other BS woman that you had. Woman, there's a man out there that will treat you better, look better than that previous man that you had. I'm fired up today. I'm fired up this morning. And you can tell in my form, my physique, that I got rest. I feel stronger to face today. You know? Look at my face. It's more youthful, you know, more restored, more younger looking, you know. And I tell you that when I say, when I pray to a God named Jehovah, and I ask him for strengthening, and he surely hear me, he said, it is done. It's up to you to realize it, Dre Wise. It's up to you to realize it, Dre Wise. That I done that for you. Because I'm already on ball time anyways. I'm 29 years old. Approaching 30. In November. I'm not getting no younger. I'm getting older. So why in the hell should I be worried about some woman? Why in the hell should I be worried about whatever I'm going through? 
Why in the hell should I? So I tell you as encouragement, get up, pull your britches up, chin up, chest out. Like Tupac said, keep your head up. And that's that. Please post a comment. Because I have not said anything wrong on this particular topic this morning. You know, have not. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. A pleasant day. You know, and tell that cursed Satan, get thee behind. <laughs> have a nice day, wonderful morning. Peace and farewell.